What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I cannot see anything with that. Anyways, what's going on guys? Today, since it is getting close to Christmas time as well as ice fishing time, the 12 days of Christmas are coming up. I'm going to be showing you guys 12 awesome ice fishing gifts for anyone that ice fishes. So let's get right into it, starting with number one. Now the first thing that any ice fisherman needs is a nice rod and reel combo for ice fishing. So basically there's all different price ranges you can do, whether you want to start with something cheap. This one happens to be a $30 reel with like a $20 rod, not too expensive. You can go all the way up to using like a $100 rod, $100 reel, different things depending on what you want to do. I'm going to leave a couple different budget versions of ice fishing rod and reels in the description below. The second thing is going to be a way to store the rods. Whether you're carrying them in a sled, ATV, whatever, you always have the chance of them getting broken. And there's all different types of ways to store the rods. You can get rod holders that go in buckets that are way too tall and you can't put a cover on your sled, different things like that. But the one awesome way is a hard storage box like this. Now you can get one specifically designed for ice fishing, but if you're cheap like me, a gun case works great. This happens to be a case for You'd use it for like a shotgun that you can break down or a assault rifle of some sort. It's a little bit shorter and wider so you can get like four or five different rods in here and store them without having to worry about breaking them which is nice if you're using higher quality gear. Now the next thing is going to be a tip up. This one here is a beaver dam. Beaver dam makes basically the best ones around. They're also made in Wisconsin which is cool. Not too far from me. And this one happens to be the private property, no trespassing one. Cool thing about this is being orange, you don't have to use a tip up marker or anything. You can see where it is, but they also make all different cool designs. Whether you want camouflage, you want a sports team, you want the pirate one, whatever you want. They have all different cool tip ups for you. And these are basically, like I said, the nicest ones out there. They retail about 40 bucks depending on where you buy them. And whether you're fishing for panfish, you can use them for. You can also use them for bass, pike, walleye, different things like that. I've used them for trout as well. They're just a good all around thing that any ice fisherman will want. Now another cool thing from Beaver Dam is this beaver grip. As you can see here, what it is, is basically you take this thing, comes with screws and everything, and you drill it right into the side of a bucket. Now any ice fisherman already probably has a bucket that they can use for this, so all you gotta do is get this piece for them, and they can screw it into the bucket, and as you can see here, you can put your different rod, reels, tip-ups, different things like that, and store it. So you can put it right on the side of the bucket, keeps them really organized, and keeping them from getting tangled, which is a really problem when you're ice fishing. And it's a good way to protect them from any damage, especially since they're kind of pretty expensive for the tip-ups, rod and reels, different things like that. So it's a good way to store the tip-ups and keep them protected as well as keep them organized. You can have multiple set up so they're ready to go whenever you need. The next thing is something I got recently. This is a electric hand warmer. I've got a couple of them, but these things are actually really sweet. As many of you have probably used the little ones that come in the bag for like 99 cents at the store, they don't really work that well. They take like an hour to even get kind of warm and then they die right away. They don't last very long. But this electric one heats up really quick. It said on the package it gets to like 100 something degrees. So it's actually pretty warm. And I used this a lot deer hunting last week. I used it every day of the nine days and it really worked good. Um, you do have to charge it every night. It lasts like six hours, but whether you get one or two of them, they do last pretty long and keep you really warm throughout the day. You also don't really need to keep it on the whole time, so it'll last a lot longer than that. And the cool thing is they also make some different ones that you can stick, plug your phone into, different things like that. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to all of this stuff, but this is another really cool one. And they retail like 25 bucks, I believe. But over time, you're going to buy a bunch of those bag ones and they don't really work. So this will last longer than as many of those bag ones as you can think of. So this is another good gift for anyone really that is in the outdoors in the cold. Now we can get into one of my favorite things, which is ice fishing electronics. So basically, there's two styles of ice fishing electronics. Actually, three out there. Hold on. So there are basically three different types of ice fishing electronics out there. You've got the underwater camera, which is great for pan fishing, walleye fishing, anything like that, but it does kind of require clear water. 
So if you're fishing in current, dirty water, anything like that, it's not really the best thing to get, but it's a, a fun thing if you've already got like a Vexilar, Markham, anything like that. It's kind of a fun thing to get. And whether you're in shallow water, clear water, it's a really fun thing to see the fish that you're fishing for. It's good for finding different structure and stuff like that. You can find weed lines, rocks, different things like that, as well as see if you're in an area that holds fish. So that's a really cool thing to get. But basically the other two kinds are a sonar type. Now this is basically like what you'd have on a boat. So it's a really kind of easy to use electronic. It's cool thing about it is this one happens to be a hummingbird. Uh, this is the Helix 5. They do make an ice fishing model with a more friendly case like this. But they're cool because you can see a GPS with them. You can see the bottom, you can get down imaging, different things like that. So you can see the different structure that you're fishing even better. But the thing is that these are not as sensitive and fast as something like these. So you're not going to get as clear of a view of the fish. But whether you have an ATV or you're going out on big water, these are awesome to have because you can have the GPS on there as well as save your waypoints of your fishing spots, not have to worry about them losing, about losing them year after year. So that's a cool thing to have. And you can mount them on your ice fishing sled, on your uh, ATV. Plus, you can switch them out to your boat every year, so it's a kind of a year-round thing that you might want to have. And then, the last one is going to be basically your flasher. So there's two main brands of them. There's the Vexilar as well as Markham. I kind of like the Markham better. These are both kind of mid-lower range electronics. And the cool thing I like about Markham is basically any of them for the same price as even the cheapest Vexlars come with the zoom. They're also a little bit faster. So with the zoom, you can see the bottom layer, which is mostly where you're fishing more. And you can also get the faster ping. So you're not worried about the fish being not exactly where it is at all times. It's also a little bit more sensitive so you can see smaller baits. But Either way, they're both cool electronics, and these three electronics are different cool things for any ice fisherman. They do have a higher price point than some of the other things in the video, but if you're looking for something nicer, these are all awesome to have. Next, we're going to get into kind of tackle type stuff, your actual stuff that catches the fish. So basically, there's kind of two main types of artificial baits out there for ice fishing first off you've got these spoons this is going to be used for catching bigger fish and stuff as you can see they're basically a little metal piece piece of lead or whatever and they've got a treble hook on them you basically vertical jig them and make them have a lot of action they come in different colors and stuff and really just attract the fish and are kind of just a weird thing that fish like to eat but anyways Tackle, I wouldn't really get tackle for people. There's so many different types of tackle, you might not know what to get for the angler in your life. But a cool thing is tackle boxes. So these ones I actually found are the nicest to store your ice fishing stuff in. These are the Gamakatsu, I believe these are the G3600 model. I'll leave it all below, like I said, so if that's not right, it'll be down there. And these are awesome for storing your spoons in. They're basically a little foam pad with a bunch of slits down it and what you can do is take and put your your uh, spoon in there and really organize them however you want you can fit way more spoons in this than any other box and they're really organized by color size brand whatever you want i do mine by brand so i've got all the northland stuff in this box as you can see and it's really a good way to organize your ice fishing stuff and keep it ready to go whenever you need the other thing is going to be a jig box. So basically the other type of bait you're going to be using is jigs. And there's all different jig boxes out there. I'll leave links to a couple of my favorite. But what you can do is basically store all of your jigs in there nicely. You can see the different colors and stuff as well. Like I was saying with these spoons and they're a good way to store them, keep them organized. These things are actually pretty expensive. So it's a good way to keep them protected and always know where they are. Now, like I was saying, it's kind of hard to get ice fishing tackle for anyone because you never know what they might need. But if you're looking for a ice fishing package for somebody, Lucky Tackle Box creates a cool way to get a box of tackle shipped to your door every month. So you can get different ones, whether you want the ice fishing model, you want the walleye fishing, bass fishing, different things like that. 
all you gotta do is subscribe to Lucky Tackle Box and can get a box full of baits shipped to your door every month. And they're all different based on different categories. So whether you want the ice fishing one, you can get all the top ice fishing stuff coming up, or you can get different seasonal walleye ones, bass ones, different things like that. And I will leave a link in the description to this. You can get $5 off with my link below. We are getting a little bit more expensive, but the next thing that we have is going to be a auger. Basically, anyone probably has an auger if you've done ice fishing, but whether you want to upgrade is a awesome choice. So there's different types. The hand augers here are really kind of more affordable compared to your gas, electric, different things like that. But there are different things to think about. This one happens to be the Strike Master laser auger. This one is a six inch. So it's good for your pan fishing stuff, but on thinner ice, the hand auger works fine. The thing is, always buy the laser models. They cut way nicer through the ice. They're a little bit more money, but they're definitely worth the money out there. Yeah. And then the other type is gonna be a propane auger. This one happens to be the Eskimo HC40. I'm gonna get out of the way here so you can see me, but a power auger is great whether you're fishing in bigger ice, thicker ice, uh, you gotta get bigger fish, different things like that. It's always nice to have, especially if you're making a bunch of holes. This happens to be propane. The cool thing about that is you don't have to worry about mixing gas, you don't have to worry about batteries running out, as well as you don't have to deal with carburetor issues, anything like that. Propane is definitely a cool thing now, but basically there are all different types. Eskimo is what I use. It's uh, more affordable than some of the others and it also lasts a long time. So that is gonna be a auger, which is definitely something cool if you wanna either get for a nice fisherman or upgrade for them. Now another thing to keep you out of the cold, which is really nice, is going to be a set of ice fishing bibs. These ones are striker ice. They're some of the nicest ones out there. There's all different brands that make them. I'll leave a couple links below. Like I said, these are kind of more expensive, but they do keep you super warm. I never really thought they'd keep you that warm until I tried them myself. These things are crazy warm when you're out there. You basically never get cold. You don't even really need a shanty, but it is an awesome set of weight or bibs to keep you out of the wind, keep you warm. The cool thing about these also is from a safety standpoint, they float when you fall in the water. So there's different ones that don't float and do float. The uh, striker ice ones here that I'm wearing, I believe these are the Predator model. They do float, so if you fall in, you don't have to worry about dying, which is not a good thing. And they also have a bunch of pockets on them, so you can carry all of your stuff in them, which is really nice, whether it's your jig box, you can carry uh, those electric hand warmers, all different things like that. They are an awesome thing to have. Now, number 11, 12, I'm gonna put together, since they're basically pretty similar, uh, they're also both so big that I didn't wanna bring them down here to film. And I will put a picture of each on here, which is gonna be a ice fishing sled and an ice fishing shanty. Basically, the sled is gonna be throw all your gear in there and pull it out on the ice. It's really convenient to throw all your stuff in there, keep it pretty organized and take it out so you have it wherever you go fishing. And the ice fishing shanty is gonna be nice. There's all different types of shanties out there. Uh, you can get the big pop-up ones, which are really nice if you're fishing multiple people. They're also a little bit bigger, taller, different things like that, which is really nice but you do not have a way to carry them out there. You can get some with backpack straps, but they're kind of a pain in the butt. So if you get one of those, you'll definitely want a ice fishing sled. The other thing is going to be the flip over ice shanties, which is the ones I use more often. Uh, you can get them in one man, two man, three man, all different things like that. They're really nice and roomy in them. There are, you can also get them insulated if you want. So you stay really warm with a propane heater and they're basically keep you out of the wind. The cool thing about the sled ones that flip over is you got nice chairs in them, you got different cup holders, things like that, depending on what you need, as well as windows in them, so you can see your tip-ups outside, as well as the sled that they're on is really nice because you can throw all your gear in there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up below. If you have any questions, let me know in the description or the comments below. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Hopefully I'll make a couple more videos like this on different things. If there's any Christmas things you want to know about, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make a video on them. Also hit subscribe while you're down there and we'll see you guys on the next episode.